Hey guys, welcome to your channel. In this video, you'll learn on how to use Sage 50 Accounting. So this video is tutorial for beginners 2025. So the very first thing that we should do here, as you can see, we have this demo website. So I'm just going to show you how we can use this one. And as you can see, we have this sign up page where we can create a Sage account. Okay, so when we visit the Sage accounting section or website, as you can see, so this is the result. So you just have to click on this one. And when we click on it, you'll be able to see this page. And as you can see, we only have the login option. So when you click on it, we cannot see an option where we can create or sign up for a Sage account. Okay, so what I'm going to show you now is how you can create your account and how you can use the Sage account thing. So what you're going to do here is you just have to use the search bar at the top and you have to type out accounting the Sage one that co that za slash sign up slash default dot aspx. And after tapping it out, just have to click on enter and you'll be directed to this section. So what you are going to do here now is to type out your company name, your product type, your country, your first name, last name, your mobile number, you have your email, and then your password, of course. And you have to confirm your password and then make sure to click on the box that you have accepted terms and condition for the Sage accounting. Then once you're done creating or signing up for an account, you'd be redirected now to your dashboard. So this is your homepage and then this is your dashboard. Okay, so here you'd be able to see an overview. So we have the customers, suppliers, items, banking, accounts, accounts, accountants area, reports, company, and then the administration. Okay, so we are going to discuss these options at the top one by one later on. So here we have the to-do list, the banking, the sales history, the top customers by sales. And of course, we can add more widget right here. Okay, so now let's proceed to the options at the top. So let's start with the um, quick view section. Okay, so when you click on the quick view, so when you click on the customers, so quick view means you'd be able to see here a quick overview of your customer section. Okay, so we have here the overview, the invoices, we have the transactions, the codes, and then the sales order, and then the balance for this specific customer. Okay, so now to add a customer, so assuming that you have any customers, you just click on the add a customer section. Okay, so just click on the add a customer. And then after that one, you'd be directed to this section. So we have here the details of the customers. You just have to type out the customer name, the category, and then all of the details. Of course, we have the postal address, the delivery address, the contact details, and then the default settings. So make sure to fill out all of this section. Now let's proceed to the supplier section. So just click on the add a supplier if you're planning to add a new supplier. And then here is the section where you can input the details of your new supplier and then just click on save or save and new. Okay, and then for the list, we also have here the list of your suppliers. So just click on it and then you'd be directed to this page and you'd be able to see here now all of your suppliers. Okay, so you have here the category, the balance, the contact name, the telephone and more. Now let's proceed to the item section. You have the banking, the account, accountants area, reports, company, and then the administration. So if you want me to create a detailed explanation about each of these options, you just comment down below. Okay, so now let's proceed to the accounts section. Okay, so this is now the account reporting group. So use account reporting groups to view either a summary of group accounts or the individual accounts making a group total on your financial statement report so you just have to select the accounts below to add or move to an account reporting group okay so for example we have here the account name and then the category section so for the sales group accounts we have this one so we have the cost of sales and then more so you just have to select all of the details that you want to have and after that, you just have to click on the save option. Next one, we also have here the administration. So here we can change our password. We can log out or you can see the details of your account. So for example, you have to send a note to your accountant. 
to just click on the accountants area and then here you have your notes to my accountant so what you're going to do here is you just have to type right here the details of your accountant you just have to select your accountant and then what type okay so we have here marketing note or reminder then here we have the subject message you just have to type it out right here and then of course we have the due date for this one and we have here the previous notes and of course we have to add here the attachment and then of course your message okay so after this one let's go back to the home page and then here let's go to my workspace and right here you'd be able to see different workspaces so super cycle wholesale workspace so what do you need to do today so here we have our dashboard, you know, the customer receipts, create a credit note or import bank statements, record expenses, or view bank transactions. So for this one, let us start by sending our customer receipts. Okay, so I just simply clicked on the customer receipts right here. So we have to receive money from our customer. So here, just click on this one. Then just wait for a couple of seconds and right here just have to type out the customer details that so this section is a process receipt so we also have the details i mean the receipt details so you just have to make sure that all of the details that you have input are correct okay so we have here the document number the receipt account the balance and then the bank account okay and then here you just have to select the unpaid invoices then here we have the description then after selecting your unpaid invoices next thing they should do is you have an option to choose process process a new process and print or process an email so we are going to select process and email for this one okay and then after that just wait for a couple of seconds and here you'd be able to see the email customer receipt so here we have the recipient so i just have the type of your recipient then after that we have the subject and then your message okay and then of course we have to add an attachment if we need to just simply click on the add attachment option okay then after that you just have to click on the email report option now let's go back to our home page okay and then let's go back to our workspace okay so let me just go back right here and for example we would like to view the account or view the bank transactions so just simply click on this option okay then you just have to wait and you'll be able to see here now the banking section so what you're going to do here is you just have to select the bank or credit card and then the balance so basically sage accounting provides an efficient user-friendly and cloud-based solution that simplifies financial management automates tasks and support business growth making it an ideal choice for small to medium-sized enterprises so that's it for this video if you think this video helped you solve your concern please subscribe like this video and leave your comment below bye